discussion on accounting and related issues. Today we are going to discuss about understand the concept of responsibility accounting and its application in the business management. Uh, unlike the other financial accounting issues, the concept of responsibility accounting is not statutory. It is a managerial driven. So the responsibility accounting is actually dividing an organization into several responsibility centers and the responsibility centers are headed by certain manager, uh, a group or a person and such manager or managers are responsible for certain predetermined objectives. These objectives depend on the nature of the responsibility center. So the nature of the responsibility center will tell what are the objectives. Let us see what are the nature of these responsibility center. Uh, the responsibility centers actually achieve the objectives of overall goal of the corporates. Moreover, the goods or services produced by these responsibility center may be consumed internally or may be sold outside. And the most important thing which we are going to use extensively in this presentation is that objectives should be measurable and controllable. What is the use of so using this measurability and controllability, the responsibility centers will like to define and divide into cost centers, expenses center for the timing. I will ignore that. We will see why. The revenue centers, the profit centers, and investment center. That means an organization can be divided into cost centers or revenue centers or profit centers so that they will be managed accordingly. But what are these, how to decide whether it is a revenue center or a cost center or a profit center? That depends on the objectives which I mentioned. But those objectives have to be measurable and controllable. So this cost center or revenue center or profit center to decide what is that because since these are not a statutory classification I'll say that classifying the organization into this responsibility center depends on the framework that we will use as a measurability and controllability of what of the cost revenue or investment that means if the cost is measurable and controllable, or if the revenue is measurable, controllable, or investment is measurable and controllable. So let us define in that way. So if I say that is a cost center, in the cost center, the cost is measurable and controllable. Controllable means the manager can take decision to decide whether to incur that cost or not. In the same way, the revenue center means revenue center, okay, revenue center means where the revenue is measurable and controllable. If the revenue is measurable and controllable, then it becomes a revenue center. That means I can hold the manager responsible for the increasing or uh, hold him responsible for the change in the revenue because it is not only measurable but also controllable. The next one is a profit center. So profit center is where the both revenue and the cost are measurable. So the revenue and cost are measurable revenue uh, revenue and cost are measurable and controllable so so we can we are able to see that the measurability and controllability is an important feature for defining this center so in this way if I use the same framework, the investment center is where cost, revenue, cost, revenue, 
and investment okay or in other word let's me put asset okay are measurable are measurable and controllable let me let me use the same size so are measurable and controllable so let us recap so what we are trying to say that the classification of an organization into profit center into cost center or revenue center or investment center depends on the purpose or the objective with which the organization is decentralizing the um, the decisions regarding the cost or revenue or investment or all the cost revenue and investment let us take a small example to understand that suppose a division a i'm using the word division it's a part of a large company so it's a division a not a limited suppose they are able to prepare a balance sheet and income statement so it has all the assets liabilities and income so immediately a question comes from mind what is this division a is it a profit center revenue center investment center or the cost center despite the fact that you are able to prepare the both balance sheet and income statement that means all revenues cost and assets are measurable that does not mean it's an investment center suppose i say that sales sales is measurable measurable is of course measurable because we are able to find the sales and controllable by this manager okay that means i say that sales is measurable and controllable by this manager if that is a case in that case the this particular division or in this particular uh, division a will be called or can be called or can be treated as a revenue center okay so let me increase the size of the font size okay so the the decision the classification depends on the classification depends on whether we are able to delegate the decision regarding the sales if that is a the case then it becomes a revenue center but if i say that no only the expenses okay only the expenses are expenses are measurable let me copy it like this the expenses are measurable expenses are only expense what expenses we'll try to see that as we move along so expenses are measurable and controllable then in that case it will become a cost center it will become a cost center so you can see that so uh, it does not it is not necessary that you because you are preparing a balance sheet you are able to measure and you are also able to control that is a managerial decision so depending on the delegation of power depending on the decentralization that the company is doing the classification of the responsibility center will be decided but suppose i say that both okay both the sales both the sales and expenses are measurable sales and expenses and expenses are let me shorten it out are m and c okay m and c in that case it can be treated as the profit center that means i am able to hold this person responsible for the profit but hold on here for some time when i say profit center and is this person responsible for depreciation is this person responsible for interest that depends on whether the interest and depreciation are under the control of the division a's manager we know that depreciation depends on the fixed assets interest depends on the loan so if 
if the dis financing decision okay financing decisions are not decentralized are not decentralized okay suppose is a situation the financing decisions are not decentralized then in that case the person will be responsible for p b i t okay will be responsible for or will be held evaluated on the basis of the p b i t only so not the entire profit but suppose financing decisions are also uh, financing decisions are not decentralized here yeah? okay but suppose i say financing decisions are also decentralized okay that means the person can take a decision whether to finance through the loan or a debt in that case he can be held responsible for fat or maybe pvt though tax is not under your control that doesn't matter okay in the same way if i say that investment decisions investment decisions are not decentralized let me first mention let me first explain what i say what i mean by investment decision for example in this case the investment decisions means depreciation as we have seen uh, while well, discussing the financing decision the interest you can see that interest depends on the loan the investment decision depreciation will depend on the it will depend on the fixed asset if investment decisions and financing decisions are not decentralized are not decentralized in that case even if it is a profit center the person will be responsible for pbdta that means you are you are creating a profit center but the one indicator which will be used for evaluating the manager will be pbita or pbit or pat depending on the decentralization that you are able to do so let us recap if i say that the division a what nature of responsibility center it will take it depends on the question whether they are measurable or controllable but if i say that all the cost investment as well as financing decisions are decentralized in that case i'm going to call them as investment center so let us go back and recap here so that is why we say that investment uh, or the measurability and controllability of investment that is assets will be calling an investment center the measurability and controllability of only profit that is revenue and cost becoming measurable then it will call the profit center but if it is only cost is measurable okay in this case i'm sorry revenue okay revenue is measurable uh, in that case it becomes the revenue center but if the cost is only measurable and controllable it is a cost center so why will companies use this responsibility center if it is not a statutory requirement the answer is is a managerial need the answer is the strategic requirement so creating responsibility centers and using the concept of decentralization and uh, uh, using the concept of measurability and controllability is not a statutory need but rather a, f a, a strategic decision of the company later on we will try to see how the responsibility what are the major managerial issues involved in managing the responsibility center for example in this how i'm going to manage this division depends on what i am going to evaluate them depends on what decisions i am actually decentralizing by treating division a as a profit center will that affect the if will that have an effect on other division is an important question which the decentralization uh, raises so responsibility accounting is more a managerial decision making 